Welcome back to the Trail Tech Shop and the 2011 season of Snowtracks TV, where we're gonna show you some pretty cool things, and we'll start with this brand new Renegade X backcountry. If you tuned in last season, you might remember my test ride on the 2010 800 Powertech Renegade Backcountry X. Wow, that's a mouthful. I instantly fell in love with this sled as it proved just how off-trail able it truly was, taking me places I thought only capable with a mountain sled. Now late in the season last year, I had the opportunity to ride the 2011 Skidoo Freeride. However, since then, I've been wondering how to make myself a flatland version. The Freeride is not only a totally tricked out mountain sled, but it was also a spring order only. I've been planning out in my mind all summer how to turn our 2011 Backcountry X into a little more of a Backcountry Freeride. And thankfully, Skidoo's Parts and Accessories division has all the stuff I want to transform my sled readily available from any local Skidoo dealer. Out of the box, the 2011 Backcountry X is a pretty sweet looking sled, so I'm going to focus in more on functionality and less on aesthetics, and we'll start with these new front skis. The Freeride features the all new Pilot DS Ski, a super wide body composite running an inch and a quarter deep by inch and a half wide keel down the center for extra bite in the fluffy stuff. The top side features 16 large boot biting tabs on the upper frame that help you find traction when walking across the skis. The front handle is much larger than any other pilot ski and allows you to comfortably put two hands on and pull without pinching your digits when you're getting unstuck. Something any snowmobiler who has ever pulled their sled out can appreciate. Along with the set of four inch Expedition carbides, these skis will add flotation while also staying decently aggressive out on the trails, something I'm not willing to compromise on. And speaking of no compromise, let's move on to the sway bar. Skidoo offers a bolt-on, quick disconnect sway bar kit that allows you to disengage the sway bar in about two seconds using cam lock style fasteners. While you can just take the sway bar off altogether, it will negatively affect your trail capabilities. With this installed, we'll be powder hooking like rock stars and experiencing the best off-trail front end performance possible, as the removal or disconnecting of the sway bar allows each side of the front suspension to articulate and move independently of the other. Heading up to the handlebars is my next step where I'll remove the stock straight ones and replace them with these ultra cool tapered and hooked aluminums. The beautiful part about these, besides the fact that they look super trick, is they're available from your dealer so you know they're gonna bolt right on. While you can use a riser block extension to gain a little height, these taper bars feature a motocross style bend that's way more comfortable, adds height, and actually makes pulling the sled over in powder or carving a hard corner on the trail easier thanks to the hooked ends and aggressive hand placement. The final benefit is they're way stronger than the stalkers, meaning you're less likely to bend them if you take taken off and can take the constant hard pulling abuse of free riding. Now my final touch doesn't have so much to do with this sled functioning like a free ride, but more so with me just wanting to show off the fire breathing 800 E-Tech that's strapped in under the hood. And let me tell you, this thing's gonna look cool when I got this on. Yet another dealer available part, this clear Lexan hood displays the clean factory fit and finish Skidoo is known for, even in the engine compartment, and at the same time allows me to differentiate my ride from everyone else's. You could choose to take this further with a graphics kit, however when it comes to functionality and rideability, there truly isn't anything else you need to do. The Backcountry X is one of the most intense crossover sleds available, and the suspension and motor are all you'll need when free riding the flats. You know, I really wouldn't be surprised if most of these parts found their way onto a 2012 backcountry. However, if they don't, you've got the ability to trick out your ride's functionality with a simple trip to your local Skidoo dealer. 